Did you know that you could add tools for your Eleven Labs voice agents? That's interesting. Could you tell me more about these tools for Eleven Labs voice agents? I'm always eager to learn about new capabilities. Head to elevenlabs.io and create an agent. At the bottom, you'll see the tools section. This is where we're going to add our custom tool. So why would we add tools? What are they and how can we add them? Buildship.tools lets you supercharge your AI agent with custom tools. These are ways to give your agent access to the integrations that you use every day. It can do things like interact with your Google Calendar or research competitors so you're more informed for an upcoming sales call. There are lots of different tools in the library or you can generate one with conversational AI. Let's generate a tool that lets us specify a set of dates and get a change log from Linear. We use Linear internally, but you can replace this with Jira or any other sprint planning tool you have. And we'll get to building. Select our project and Compass, our AI builder, will automatically generate a set of nodes for you. It starts with a plain English plan. And when we're ready to generate the actual workflow, click Start Building. It will automatically map the inputs and outputs and give us a good starting point for a workflow that we can use. Just click the fingerprint to add your OAuth for Linear. Let's go ahead and test it. And we get back a change log showing all of the new features that have been released and improvements over the past week. Let's go ahead and ship this. We can add a tool description or automatically generate one here on the Connect tab. Let's select our agent builder as 11 labs in the dropdown. Now we'll follow this setup guide to get the tool set up. We'll copy the name, description, and put that in the API URL, and set the method as post. Next step, we'll set the headers, the build ship, set this to value and the secret here. And then we have to give it the body parameters for our tool for the start date, enable body parameters here, add a property, start date, leave it as string, LLM prompt, add a quick description. We can add our next variable, end date, and a description and then a description just for the body parameters overall. And we just hit add tool. It looks like this wants a camel case name, so we'll give that to it and hit add tool. Save your changes and let's test it. Hey, what happened in the last week on Linear? I can help with that. I will need a start date and end date to generate the change log. What dates are you looking for? Let's go with May 5th to May 9th, 2025. Okay. Generated a change log from May 5th, 2025 to May 9th, 2025. Is that correct? Yes. Here's the change log generated from May 5th, 2025 to May 9th, 2025. New features, sales agent tools, product agent tools, marketing agent tools, open AI and agent templates, live stream and community. Improvements, user onboarding, node and workflow enhancements. Can you UX give me just some of the bugs that we fixed maybe? Okay, I can help you with that. The bug fixes for that period include addressing issues where unshipped tools could be added as MCP, now providing clear warnings or preventing the action to avoid confusion. Right. Now, so you see that we can add this type of functionality to 11 Labs. Some limitations, uh, this actually waited probably 15 to 20 seconds for us. I'm not sure the exact amount of time that it'll wait for a tool to be called, but keep in mind that you have to call the API and wait for a response. So this is something that 11 Labs is working on, and we are as well. Something else that we have, now we set wait for output before responding as true. If we wanted to, for example, trigger deep research or trigger computer use through 11 Labs, we can set this as false so that it's able to trigger the API and then just say, okay, I've started that process instead of waiting for a response. Back in 11 Labs with our agent, we can configure anything else we want, the system prompt, the first message, the LLM that we're using. We can change the voice, a lot of other options here. There's some built-in data collection tools. I haven't really been able to get these work, so build chip tools are very good for this, for some consistency. And then here's the embed code so that you can take this and put it into your application. This works great on Bolt.new, Lovable, V0, Cursor, Windsurf, um, and any of these other new front-end generators. For the back-end, I'd highly recommend using build chip tools and generating the tool that you need for the job or looking through and contributing to our community library. So what will you build? I'd recommend mapping out your existing daily or weekly workflows and seeing where you might be able to add tools for agents that can augment the amount of information you're able to collect and organize to be able to make better decisions for your organization. Thank you for your time and good luck.